Hey, what's up everybody? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a triangle very quickly in Adobe Photoshop. So here we are in Le Photoshop, and what I have is normally the Move Tool selected. We're gonna create a triangle with the Shape Tools. You can find them down here. Normally, it's on the Rectangle Tool. The shortcut key for these is U. Now, if I click and hold and drag down to the Polygon Tool and let go, notice how there's a bunch of uh, different properties up here at the top. This is where you can change some of the properties before you build your shape. For instance, we can change the fill color. Right now it's black. Let's change it to a random red color. You can change, you can adjust whether or not there's a stroke on it. And this actually matters when you're creating a triangle because a triangle doesn't include the live shape properties that some of the other shapes include. So way over here to the right, we have sides. Now a triangle has three sides. So with the polygon tool, if you select three here, it's going to create a triangle. And you can hold shift to lock that in to 45 degree angles so that you can create a triangle that's perfectly uh, vertical here, so like up and down, if you will. So once I have that triangle created, I can switch back over to the move tool and move that guy around. Notice how he created an actual shape layer down here in my layers panel. He also has shape path, which means I can adjust like the feathering of that path and uh, the density of things, but it doesn't have the live shape mode like we're used to. So you need to think about when you're creating this triangle, uh, how you want to create it prior, or you can always edit it sort of later in your own way. But think about this. If we have this triangle again, we're going to grab this polygon tool. This time, instead of clicking and dragging after we've changed the properties, we're actually just going to click on our canvas. That brings up the Create Polygon dialog box, which allows me to adjust the sizing if I need to and the number of sides. However, we can also check smooth corners. But when you check smooth corners, we're going to hit OK on this one. Notice how wonky this shape is. So smooth corners doesn't exactly round our corners. However, it does give us like a guitar pick uh, style of icon there. Like if we skewed this out a little bit, we have a guitar pick. But that is another little adjustment you can make if you want a super rounded corner triangle. Uh, one other thing with these shape layers, you can actually double click on the thumbnail and quickly change the color of your shape if you'd like. And then you can always use Command or Control T to scale these up and down. And the good thing about shape layers is they're remaining as vector shapes. We'll go ahead and delete out that guy. The vector shape of these uh, layers allows it to scale infinitely without losing quality. Now once you rasterize this image, if you ever need to, it will tend to pixelate after that. But as long as it's a shape layer, it's going to scale and, and skew and stretch uh, as much as you want. Now you can always grab the sides of this to skew your triangle out or squish it down if you'd like to. So anyway, that is how to create a triangle and some of the different options in uh, in Photoshop, one last thing actually is if you grab this polygon tool, remember we talked about the stroke. If you wanted just an outlined triangle, you can do the stroke and cancel out the fill of that triangle and sort of adjust the properties of that shape up here in this panel, just not the live shape properties. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you liked this video, like this video. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. And I'll see you next time.